Welcome to our inaugural show and tell video series. The first video will focus on decorative accessories for Global Views. It's very appropriate that we start with decorative accessories because Global Views began as a decorative accessory wholesale company back in 1996. We later branched out into all the other categories to become a total home decor resource for our buyers and interior designers. But first and foremost, we are a decorative accessory company. We've always been a decorative accessory company, and we enjoy the fact that our decorative accessories have found homes in some of the most beautiful settings around the world to date. We have a series of six trays, three in dark amber and three in clear glass that are made in a technique known as liuli, which is an ancient Chinese art glass form that dates back to the Han Dynasty. We have a Chinese glass factory that has mastered the techniques of the original Liuli glass and uh, was willing to work with us to create these one-of-a-kind pedestals or plateaus or trays, however you would like to refer to them as. This is one of those products that hopefully the video will help explain much better than the still photography does. As you look down into these pieces, they've got this amazing depth to them and they also have a very dome-like finish on the glass on the back side. It's kind of almost frosted like, but this is so incredibly detailed and, and carved that it just, it, it really creates a beautiful piece of glass. And when you look down inside of them, and especially the clear ones, you see the amazing depth that the glass has all the way along. And you can see the depth on the back side, these actual feet that are formed out of glass that hold the tray aloft in such a beautiful way. The amber are probably the most difficult to see. There's the back side of it in a kind of a matte finish and there's the front side of it in a very highly polished finish on the glass. Again, the back side reminds me a lot of like French dome crystal, but it really and truly is an ancient Chinese glass form named Liu Li. These trays would be great for food, uh, food service trays or drink service trays, whatever you wanted to use them as but they would, they would definitely make a big statement on a buffet uh, with different kinds of food, I believe. Here we're presenting to you our royal collection. It's a very whimsical look at, a very satirical and whimsical look, I believe, at what can be done with beautiful handmade Italian ceramics. The factory we work with um, outside of Florence on these pieces um, has always been known for creating some really amazing uh, effects for us uh, when they do carving and embossing on some of these kind of ceramic pieces. We have today the king and the queen and it's all the little details that make these so fun and unusual like her little lips are so feminine and beautiful as are her eyes uh, as opposed to his lips and eyes being much more stern and straightforward. Her, her little nose has even got a nice little curve to it. Then they go in and they hand emboss all of these different little patterns onto the hand-thrown ceramic pieces. They actually scratch into the surface of the ceramic the detail of her hair. Uh, and on the top, she's got this beautiful crown uh, that becomes the rim of an actual vase. And you can see inside the vase the actual finger marks of the hand-thrown ceramic piece that was done to create this. Um, the great thing about these are the, is that they do function as vases because they're watertight, but you can only fill the water up so far before you would have a waterfall coming out of her pretty little mouth. So we have the queen, the king, and to add even more whimsy, we have the prince who um, I'm sure is waiting in line for that king to go. Um, but he's got an amazing masculine kind of expression on his face as well, and he's got a, a much smaller kind of detailed little crown on, on, on top of his head. They're just beautiful, elegant pieces. And then this bowl is, is kind of it mimics the crenellation on top of a turret on a castle. And there's actually three faces around the exterior of the bowl. And they're all done in a really beautiful kind of antique ivory glaze. But again, one of the most interesting things for me from a, a quality standpoint and a handmade standpoint are the actual impressions of the fingers that are left behind when they hand throw these kind of pieces. We have this really uh, beautiful trio of marble uh, decanters that we had made for us in, in India. 
and uh, it's a combination of Botswana, which is a native Indian marble, and Marquina, which is a black marble from, from India, also native. Both of these stones are native to India. Um, it, was, it was interesting, though, to have the idea of, t of turning them on a lathe to create these perfect you know, shapes. There's the, the swell shape, because it swells here in the middle of the, the body of the piece. There's a teardrop shape here, and then there's an orb shape here. And they all have removable lids. And you can actually see down inside this one that it's, it's hollow all the way to the bottom. They're, they're technically decanters, but I wouldn't use them for any kind of decanting of any kind of liquid because it might stain the inside and seep through. But I do think that they're just beautiful pieces, architecturally beautiful pieces and shapes that uh, are really, really very unique. Um, and again, the fact that they're bottles or decanters made of marble uh, really makes them fascinating to me. Um, and you can also see the, the detail of black always turns out a little bit more grayish when it's uh, carved away like that and not, you can't really get your hand inside there to polish it. You know, all of the out exterior surface of this is, is all polished by hand to give it the, the luster that you see on the exterior, the little bit of, of um, shine that you see on the exterior of them. These are our radiator vases. Uh, they resemble an air intake kind of radiator system. And uh, they're made um, in a factory in Italy. Again, all thrown by hand, as you can see from the evidence of the finger marks on the interior of these. And then each one of these individual pieces is applied by hand, as you can clearly see from the top edge of this. And um, so no two of these vases are ever going to be the same. The finish on these two is a gunmetal finish. We also sell these in a matte white coloration in both sizes, the large and the small. The large vase has a swirl effect to the application of those individual pieces of ceramic that form this elegant, beautiful shape. So you can well imagine how difficult and complicated it is to apply each one of these individual pieces in that same exact kind of swirl pattern by hand. Uh, before they're fired in a kiln. It's all done when the greenware ceramic is being worked with. Again, Italian ceramic, all handmade, gunmetal and matte white. Here we have our chiseled block marble bowl. It's made of white Botswana marble from Udaipur, India. It's a native stone to that area of India. Uh, the inspiration uh, for this piece uh, was from a sculptor's block of stone that has been chiseled out of the mine. And it's like just a raw block of stone. But then to add a lot of character and detail to it, we had them carve into the surface of it this beautiful sweeping bowl shape, which is really very lovely. So it's something very organic that has no defined shape to it with another element that completely defines the shape of a bowl on the interior. These are the hammered ceramic collection. Um, the interesting thing that we do at Global Views is we go from a very low price point on goods that are made in China, for example, and these goods come to us from China. And we contrast that in price point with some of the goods that are made in Italy on the high end and Portugal on the more medium end. So very low priced or well priced ceramics here. This is the hammered ceramic chimney vases in two sizes and the hammered ceramic orb vases in three sizes. Uh, the imperfections that you see here on the video that are on the glaze are intentional. We didn't want these to try to be perfect because they never really will be. And so we've put a little bit of tarnish on them just to give them a little bit more character in life than they otherwise would have if they were trying to look perfect. Um, the, the hammered effect is actually in the body of the ceramic piece. And then it's kind of accentuated with this silvery metallic glaze that's been added to these pieces. It also gives us that little bit of element that we talk about in our trend presentation where we're combining different colors of ceramic together, but we're always accentuating it with a silver or a nickel toned metal. We have here the gondola compote, and it was inspired by a um, gondola in Venice, in the Venice canals. 
um, is what inspired us to do this piece. Here we're showing it in a really beautiful nickel plated finish on solid brass. We also have this in solid brass with a shiny brass finish. One interesting thing I want to talk about for just a moment is some of the challenges we have in photographing things that are very reflective. As you can see, the compote here is reflecting what surface it's sitting upon and it looks very natural like it would in your home when you sit it on a nice rich wood tone surface. Many times we have to photograph these things with a lot of white paper around them so we get the reflection looking very artificial and not very real. So if you ever have a question as to why a certain nickel plated thing that we're selling has a strange reflection, it could very well be the surface that it's sitting on reflecting up into the body of the piece. I prefer to think that this looks better in a more natural environment as we're showing it here and as we normally photograph it too. When we take it on location or we put it on an actual piece of furniture, we're going to get this realistic reflection. These are our nugget vases, and they're called nugget vases because we have little hunks of iron that have been welded around the waists of these vases. There's one, one we're missing here. So we have the nugget vase with the, the, the stripe of nugget up high, one with the nuggets in the middle, and we have a third one where the nuggets are around the, the bottom edge of them. So when you line them up together, you get this really beautiful kind of variation on where the nuggets are placed. So again, these are like rods of iron that have been cut off individually and welded to the surface of this sheet iron body. And then the whole object gets a really beautiful nickel plated finish on it. Um, inside of these, you can see that the, the floor is, is, is in the very bottom of these pieces. So they will hold water from that point all the way up. The, the great thing about this kind of metal decorative container type of item is, frankly, they don't break. And so therefore, uh, you know, home stagers and, and, and people in other kinds of uh, business that don't want to have a, a really fragile item on display wherever they're putting the item, they find these kinds of things very attractive and appealing from us. So they've got durability and they've got a lot of design elements going on with them as well. This one is called the flip-flop. Uh, nugget vase and it's interesting because it has the floor here at this point inside where the nuggets are and I can show you by taking the plant we've used as a prop here out and show you inside there that the flip-flop vase has a very shallow container on top for plants or if you flip it over it has a reasonably deep well inside the vase if you wanted to do a very large flower arrangement in this piece as well. These are great for wedding planners, they're great for home stagers. They, there's just a lot of look and a lot of, of uh, design for the money and the durability aspect of it is really good too. These are our banded crystal brass and banded crystal nickel poured candle holders. These were inspired by a little small box that was originally made to hold cigarettes. <laughs> so we found a much more useful use for it by expanding the size of it, but keeping the elements of it intact. For example, you can see that the crystal base on this and also the crystal top on this have a mirrored surface underneath the crystal, which gives it a lot of life and a lot of really beautiful uh, detail. The, the lid simply lifts off and then inside there is the soy and paraffin poured candle and the fragrance on the poured candle is called potpourri. We can also supply you with replacements in the glass cylinder if your candle burns all the way down. While these are expensive poured candle holders, I think that the design and the quality is just unsurpassed by any poured candles I've seen in my existence and I think they're so very decorative and so very beautiful that they could go into any decor with no problems. We have the, here a whole collection of um, metallic rabbits. This was the very first rabbit we had in our collection and look at how they've multiplied. Uh, we've done a, a really good job of finding and sourcing other rabbit entities that we can really play with and have fun with in both this beautiful kind of aged golden finish and an aged uh, silver finish as well. So the finish on the surface is a little imperfect, but that's the nature of the finish. 
I think the, the greatest thing about these is the, the whimsical nature of the positioning of the ears, particularly on these two large rabbits or hares, if you'd like to call them. They just have all this personality because of the way they, the look in their eyes and the position of their ears just give them major personality. So we've got a really fun assortment of rabbits for you as we go forward at Global Views. As I described to you earlier, uh, the original inspiration for this piece was a small cigarette holder. With the little small cigarette holder, there was also a little small ashtray uh, that was made of the same crystal material with a little tiny dip on the side to put your single cigarette. It was a single cigarette ashtray. So we took the idea of that single cigarette ashtray and we made these larger trays. Now these trays can function either direction. They can be a tray with a small gallery around them or they can be more of a plateau style tray. And these come in a nickel finish or a brushed brass finish and both are equally beautiful. If you look, the trays are clear all the way through. There is no mirroring on the back of these trays. They're just this beautiful hunk of, of that uh, beautiful canine crystal that's been faceted and beveled and smoothed out on the edges to create this really beautiful, kind of one-of-a-kind tray. I don't think I've ever seen a tray quite like this before. This is our fluted glass collection. Um, there is a highball and a double old-fashioned in this collection in, uh, in three colors. This color is called ocean, this is smoke, and this is obviously clear. These are made in a very small little glass factory outside of Florence. And I think they do an amazing job of capturing the color within the glass, particularly near the bottom of the glass, and then the color radiates up through the fluted fa fa fascia of the glass. And there's this big, nice hunk of ice. We call that ice that's clear in the bottom of these glasses that make them very rich and, and have a nice weight to them also. And the double old-fashioned is just the perfect, the perfect size for your hand. It just really fits in your hand beautifully. But you can see here it's got the same little bit of color underneath the, the bowl there that radiates all the way up through the sides of the glass. Also in the bottom you can see how they smooth it off on a wheel. And the top edges are also ground smooth. Rolled rim marble bowls from Udaipur, India. We purchased a very small little bowl that had this, this really elegant, beautiful rolled rim on the inside. And initially the factory told us that they didn't think they were going to be able to achieve that because they didn't have the kind of machinery required to go inside of it and really grind it smooth after they had created that interior roll on the interior rim. But they did manage to accomplish it for us and they did it very beautifully. They come in two colors, a Botswana white, which has got basically some gray veining in it that sometimes turns a little bit of purple. But at this point in the mines in that area of India, they've gotten down to the point where the marble that you get is basically what you get. And they don't know what's inside the block until they cut into it and they, they pull out the individual pieces of stone that they're going to shape into these beautiful objects. So as you can see, there's a lot more veining in the small piece than there is in the large piece. But I think the veining actually adds a lot of character and interest to these pieces that they otherwise would not normally have. So I'm very pleased with the way these turned out. Um, it's very difficult for them to get that interior roll on there because you can see how deep it is. Do you see my fingers, how deep that actual roll is? And it's polished completely smooth on the inside and the outside. They made one really nice improvement on these for us after we viewed them the first time. They put a layer of suede cloth on the bottom, on the backs, to allow them to smoothly flow across the surface of a table without scratching the table surface, because they are, they are rather heavy bowls. They also come in this beautiful graffito color, which is kind of a gray, a gray tone marble. And it's got a lot of nice natural kind of white and black veining that happens um, um, as an inherent part of the marble block that these are brought from as well. Anytime I hear a customer complaining about marble veining, I simply say God makes marble and no two pieces are the same. These are these really beautiful boxes that we have made in India and this collection is called the Brass Diamond 
collection, there's two boxes and a tray in the collection. It's called the Brass Diamond Collection because there's one diamond on, in the design, in the motif, on the lid of the boxes. Both of them have the diamond on the lid in one location. And there's one diamond on the tray. The other materials that are used in this de decoration are uh, the black is resin, the white is bone, and then the other colors are actual horn. So it's bone, horn, and resin with one diamond of brass. They have really beautiful interiors that uh, look like wood, but they're actually MDF, the MDF interiors. And on the tray, we have beautiful handles on both of them that allow you to carry the tray easily and comfortably. The exterior of the, the tray gallery and the interior of the tray gallery are the black resin and then the interior where the design is again is that resin, bone, and horn with the single brass diamond. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Show and Tell. If you have any additional questions about any of the decorative accessories you've seen here today, please visit our website at globalviews.com or get in touch with your sales team professional, which are regionally based individuals that are dedicated employees of Global Views around the United States. Thank you again for joining us.